we are a diverse community. Let's all come together, whatever our race, religion, sexuality, political differences, um, and celebrate, celebrate national diversity. It's a really good night, and it's an amazing event, and amazing people are here. It's such an amazing event going on, and it's such a truly like diverse event. They have a common humanity together and not just because we're different we are gay we are Indian and that makes a difference but let's look at things that brings us together as well when you look at the people in this room you know, people keep calling them ordinary people they're extraordinary people doing extraordinary things without the rewards and the adulation that they deserve and this is why these nights are so important I work for the Lee Hooper Foundation and we're a mental health organisation for young people so we've been shortlisted for the um, Community Award which is great. It's diversity on steroids. Diversity on steroids. There we go. Good. Long live diversity. CI. <laughs> we can get to a point in life where nobody is, you know, discriminated or there is no racism. Of course we've got a long way to go but initiatives like this um, will get us closer so it's great to be part of it and I'm really proud to be here. It's just a chance to really gather, to celebrate diversity, the differences that we bring in the UK, so that's what really it is for us, yeah. Our charity is Moola Kids Club, and I am up for um, Entrepreneur of the Year. There's a long way to go. I'm so proud to be a, a member of the NDA family. Absolutely mind blowing. So personally, I feel really humbled to be here for the like the little part that I'm playing in that. It means about time, about time that people are recognising people from different ethnic groups, different genders, right? No matter whatever you class yourself as, it's about time that you get recognised and respected for who you are. And I think the Diversity Awards highlights that. going to observe a minute's silence as we honour the Queen for her services and lifelong commitment to Great Britain. I would also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge the difficult times for the families affected Turning his dreams into reality, recognising underrepresented groups for their fight against injustice and discrimination. It is none other than CEO and founder of the National Diversity Awards, Mr. Paul Sisley. Welcome everybody. How are you doing everyone? Great to be here. Wow, this is so exciting. 11 years of the National Diversity Awards. And for those that don't know, my name is Paul Cisse, and I'm the founder of the National Diversity Awards, and it's a great pleasure just to be here tonight amongst all you amazing people. This year we had 75,000 nominations and votes, which is a record number of nominations in the entire history of the NDAs. So just for you lot to be shortlisted here tonight, is an absolutely huge achievement and you should all be extremely proud for what you have all achieved. I would personally like to thank you all, you amazing people, for making the National Diversity Awards so special. So give yourselves a round of applause. From the very first 2012 awards, my team and I knew there was something amazing about these awards. And this is for a number of reasons. Firstly, it's all the inspirational stories from people that are literally the backbone of British society. And it's especially poignant as we're in unprecedented times. Never before has people's work here tonight been so much more vital. The community has been pushed more and more into poverty and in turn have an adverse effect on society as a whole. The work you lot are doing here tonight is literally the difference between people living or dying. And you are the reason that people are carrying on and have hope for the future. This night is for you 
and in my eyes and many of others, you have already won by just being here tonight. You are all true leaders that challenge the status quo and make the world a better place. So I'm going to leave you here with a quote which optimizes all of you here tonight, which is, be the change you want to see. Enjoy your night, everybody. Thank you very much. So, let's take a look at the Shears nominees. The work that we do in Croydon with our Kids Club is amazing. So to be um, shortlisted on a national level, um, we are honoured and, and we're all so grateful to be here. We're surrounded by so many amazing people who have done such, you know, tremendous things in this society. And just being here and witnessing a night like this, I'm, you know, eternally grateful. Is. I am so honoured to receive this award. Thank you. It means so much to me to be recognised by the Diversity Awards. Have inside. Hey. What do you say to National Diversity? Uh, thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you from Seven. What this award means to me is that it works. What I'm doing works. Um, and people can hear me. Coming from the background that I come from, being a trans person, a person of colour, I represent so many different people uh, with my organisation, TMB Connect. It's, it's, I'm just speechless right now, literally, I've got no words. I didn't expect this at all. This is, you know, a massive thank you and a recognition to all those voices, all those stories that have been silenced. This is the amplification of those old stories. Generation Success is on a mission to move society to equality. We partner with employers to get young people from underrepresented backgrounds into elite professions through mentoring, through internships, work experience and graduate, graduate programs. We're looking for more partners to, to work with. This award is recognition of all of the work that our employee-led networks, all of our colleagues and the focus that we've had on diversity within the organisation and the transformation that we're making um, as a group and it's recognition of all of that work and all of the people who've been a part of that change. Giving people uh, a chance to have a life and to feel that life by being given the uh, ability to believe in themselves and um, everything that they do and everything they want to do going forward. National Diversity I think is an, an amazing award and something that needs to be championed and pushed to the front at all times. I speak, it's an incredible night. These, these, these are the unsung heroes. They are people who are working tirelessly behind the scenes, they're never seen, but they're there constantly doing, doing what they do incredibly well. And it's, 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 it's humbling to be able to be there to help support them. There's no one job that has more importance than another. It's all there to support the, the young people. Winning this award means an incredible amount. Um, it's a project, the Luna Project, that started just sat around a kitchen table, some friends thinking about what change we wanted to see. And to have that recognized, um, at like such an incredible event with such incredible people here just is unbelievable. It's amazing because it, it shines a light on domestic abuse. Um, it helps us raise awareness of all of those thousands of victims across the UK that are suffering and might need help. So and it's a real recognition of all of our hard work too. Thank you. Thanks very much. Thank you. It, it's incredible. It, it, it is such a... Uh, such an honour this, this is for all of our trans community. We've been under such attack and, and this is the boost we need at the moment uh, that can hopefully help us carry through this, these hard times that we're, we're having. Thank you so much. We have the only lesbian and trans women South Asian group in the country. Nobody else had set that up before we did. So we hope that this platform will help us support and reach out so many millions more, who knows, yeah. This award means so much to us tonight because Bradford For You Community Radio Station is here representing the voices of people in Bradford and vicinity. And so to be here today is a testimony of better things to come. Um, genuinely surprised and genuinely honest, really um, just quite overwhelmed to be honest and, and so grateful. I've had an amazing night tonight. I'm just really grateful to be here with such amazing people. It's been absolutely amazing. The Diversity Awards is an amazing night because it's a time to celebrate the unsung heroes. It's so amazing just to be the founder and highlight such amazing role models and community organisations right across the UK.
means the world to me. It's good that I can let my son see what's possible in the world as well. Coming from a background where I had nothing to where I am tonight, today, it just shows that mentors and role models, you can, you can achieve anything. The passing of a dear, dear friend and National Diversity Awards judge, Simon Green. Simon sadly passed away earlier this year after his long fight with cancer, but I can honestly say he left a huge legacy behind him. And so the journey continues to making the change we want to see in society.